As we're aware, we built the e-ink weather clock, your ultimate desk accessory in my last video. Wow, the response was tremendous. Thank you so much. But I noticed some limitations. It was more of a clock with minimalistic weather details like temperature and humidity. Today, I'm excited to share an update. This time, we are tracking detailed weather parameters to give you a full picture of the forecast. Let's dive in. Required components. The Crow Panel 4.2 inch e-paper display. And that's it. Our components list is ridiculously short. Wait, that's all. How does it connect to the internet? How does the display even run without anything else? You're absolutely right. Those are all valid questions. For this project, we need something that connects to the internet, fetches real-time weather data, gets the current time, processes everything, and displays it on the screen. And guess what? The Crow Panel 4.2 inch e-paper display does all of that in one package. I just received this from elecro.com. Let's unbox it and answer all your questions. Inside we've got a USB Type-C cable for programming and power and the display module itself. The display comes housed in a sleek white acrylic case and includes several interface buttons for interacting with the display. The screen is 4.2 inches with a resolution of 400 by 300 pixels, offering sharp and clear visuals. Let's unscrew the display and take a closer look at the interfaces and buttons. It's powered by an onboard ESP32-S3 microcontroller, a popular choice with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. This means no external components are needed for internet connectivity or processing. This microcontroller handles it all. There's a battery connector here for standalone use and a USB Type-C port for programming the ESP32 and powering the system when a battery isn't connected. The board also has two buttons for the ESP32 boot and reset, a 20-pin GPIO interface to connect external peripherals like sensors or actuators, two additional buttons, one for the menu and one for exit, a rotary switch for easy navigation, an SD card slot for additional storage. This is where tools like Altium Designer and Altium 365 come into play if you are designing something similar from scratch. Altium 365 is a cloud-based platform that connects everyone involved in electronic product development. It lets you collaborate seamlessly with your team, view, edit, and discuss projects in real time, no matter where your team is. With Altium 365, you can Review design files directly in a web browser and leave comments for the team. Share advanced object details with software engineers who get notified instantly. They can access datasheets and other information right away. Transition your design to production effortlessly by sending the complete design package directly to your manufacturer just by adding their email. It's a collaboration on steroids and it's perfect for projects like these. Big thanks to Altium for helping the engineers to craft precision circuits while in sync with the whole team in real time. Now that we've explored the hardware, let's set up and program the display. Since the ESP32-S3 is on board, we can program it directly without needing an external microcontroller. I've connected the display to my computer with the USB cable and we'll program it using the Arduino IDE, just like before, but with an upgraded code. Huge thanks to David for developing the original code. I've linked it in the description. We forked it and tailored it for the Crow Panel ESP32 4.2 e-paper HMI display. David's code was designed for wave share displays of various sizes as shown here. But our 400 by 300 resolution matches perfectly. However, when I first forked the code and uploaded it, it didn't work. The ESP32 connected to Wi-Fi and fetched weather data, but the display wouldn't update. Debugging this was the most exciting part for me. I discovered the EPD interface pins on my Crow panel differed from David's setup. After correcting the pin configuration, the display updated, but the contrast was poor. I dug deeper and added tweaks to fix the contrast issue, more on that later. Now the code works flawlessly. Here's what you need to update to make it work with your Crow panel. As you can see here, Crow Panel's EPD interface to the following pins of ESP32, but the original code used different pins, so I have changed the pins to match the Crow Panel display hardware. 
modified for GXPD2 changes and Crow panel compatibility, updated the library calls to align with the latest GXEPD2 version and Crow panel hardware. This is the exciting part. This section allows you to customize the sleep behavior and active hours of the system. Sleep duration. This setting determines how long the system stays in sleep mode before waking up to update the display. It's currently set to one minute, meaning the device sleeps for one minute and then wakes up to refresh the display. For example, if you change it to 30, the device will sleep for 30 minutes before updating. Wake up time. This defines the earliest hour the device starts operating. Set to 8, the device begins waking up at 8 a.m. and follows the sleep duration schedule. Sleep time. This specifies when the device enters sleep mode for the night. Set to 22, it stops updating and sleeps after 10 p.m. As a result, the device remains active from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., updating the display every one minute based on the current sleep duration setting. Then the display weather function was updated to improve contrast, stability, and hardware compatibility using multi-page redraws and full refreshes, ensuring a clear and reliable weather display. After that, the initialized display function was optimized for better hardware compatibility and stability with a 50 milliseconds reset and initial refresh, providing a robust setup for the Crow panel display. With these optimizations complete, the next section will cover open weather map data configuration, Wi-Fi network credentials, update the code with your SSID and password. Note, the ESP32S3 only supports 2.4 GHz networks. Open weather map API key. Replace the placeholder with your key from Open Weather Map. If you don't already have an API key, you can create a free account on the Open Weather Map website to get one as shown here. Latitude and Longitude. Acquire your city's geo coordinates from Open Weather Map as demonstrated here. City name and code. Replace Bengaluru with your city and find the unique city code from the Open Weather Map as shown here. Time zone configuration. Set your time zone IST530 and use GMT offset seconds as 19,800 for IST, cause it is UTC plus 530, or adjust based on the example time zones provided here. Upload settings. Flash size, 8 megabytes. Partition scheme, who's app. PS RAM, OPI PS RAM. Uploading speed, 115,200. ESP32S3 dev module. And select the right port. Once you've made these updates, you are ready to upload the code to the ESP32-S3. Let's do that now. And there we go. The Crow panel is now showcasing real-time weather and time information. Look how crisp and clear the display is and it's barely using any power. Check this out. Kicking things off at the top, we've got the time, city name and date all laid out for you. Next up, we've got wind speed and direction marked with a sleek, cool arrow that really brings it to life. The current weather status shines through with a vibrant icon, adding a pop of personality to the screen. Transitioning to the essentials, we've got temperature and humidity, still the heart of the forecast, but now enhanced with trends stretching over the next 5-6 to six hours, giving you a heads up on what's coming. Moving on, we've added visibility and dew point indicators. Visibility is a critical factor in aviation, especially during takeoff and landing. While due, you've likely heard about it during IPL matches where it can turn the second innings upside down, is tracked right here too. Shifting gears to precipitation, we've got rainfall measurements in millimeters. Right now it's not raining, but if it were, you'd see that data pop up instantly. Then we dive into the beauty of nature with sunrise and sunset times. Complemented by the stunning moon phase representation, take a moment to admire that gorgeous display. For the bigger picture, we've included pressure tracked with a 3-day forecast graph, followed by temperature with its own 3-day forecast graph. And yes, rainfall predictions in millimeters round it all out. You name it, every critical weather detail is right here on this screen. The graphs make spotting patterns a breeze, and those icons inject a fun, dynamic vibe. It's perfect for planning your day or flexing your DIY skills. This setup is a game changer for low power, always on IoT projects. So what do you think about this coolest weather station powered by the Crow Panel ESP32 4.2 inch ePaper HMI display? Wouldn't you love to have this on your desk right now? Drop a comment below if you're planning to build one 
I can't wait to hear about your journey. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.